The Title 17 U.S.C. Section 107, the allowance is made for fair use for purpose such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing nonprofit educational or personal use tips, the balance in favor of fair use. Good morning, good afternoon, and good night, depending on where you're tuning in from and at what time you're tuning in. This is your girl Lex, and welcome to my page. Please take this time to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you're notified whenever I post a video. Hey, y'all. Thank you so much for tuning in. I just want to take this time to thank all my new subscribers. I literally was just saying a few um, videos ago how I was trying to get to 200. And you guys got me there. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I can't thank y'all enough. Thank you for the subscription. Thank you for coming back to check out the videos. I don't despise humble beginnings. So to some, 200 might sound like nothing, but I appreciate each and every one of y'all. Thank you again. Now let's get into the mess. Tired of beefing you bums, you can't even pay me enough to react. Between the slow motion and the uh, lyrics, baby, she had a message. She's tired of beefing with you bums. You don't even pay her enough to react. You ain't got enough in your account to pay her to react, okay? So I'm all with it. Go ahead, Mel. Do your thing. Between Martell hating on her, the whole cast being um, Maurice, Marceau, Kimmy, um, Tisha, you have Destiny, Coleslaw. Now you have YouTubers talking about they got a anonymous message saying that Mel is the one that made CPS calls about something that's really like sideways. Again, I'm not discrediting that that might have happened because I don't know. I wasn't there, but don't I, I don't agree with putting things out there without the facts behind it to prove it because you're tarnishing people's names, their credibility, their businesses when you do that just for likes and subscriptions. But I did want to bring up a point that I actually, as I was getting ready to do this video, I just happened to watch Auntie Anne's video and I was literally going to say the same thing. She is on point. I feel like those messages, those subliminals that uh, Coleslaw have been posting have really been about Martell. The one when she said something like, don't underestimate what an envious person would do to hurt you. She was talking about Martell and Mel. What Mar she knows Martell to have done to Mel behind the scenes. So, yeah. I think she knows some scoop. And uh, she's, you know, holding it for now. She's playing her card. She's trying to see if she's going to play her card or if she's going to hold on to it. But I agree with her. Because I feel like um, Coleslaw knows a lot about what was going on behind the scenes and all the nasty stuff that Martell was doing because she was a part of it. They was going hand in hand. But now that she's starting to realize that he isn't really what he claims to be, she's ready to play that card. Now, switching gears a little bit here, Miss Sheree posted and had a message of her own. It says, the day you look at other women and celebrate their strengths instead of think of them as competition is the day you go from girl to a woman. Ollie Washington, hashtag self-love, hashtag growth, hashtag old and cold, hashtag explore page, hashtag full course meal with the table, pots, pans, and plates. Now, Coleslaw, can you come over here and catch this shade? Because, baby, it's for you. It's for you. It's the new chick in the equation calling you a side piece for me. Like, she's letting it be known what she is. She said, I'm everything. The pots, the pan, the plates, the table, everything, everything, okay? 
Coastline need to be put in her place. Because she is notorious for trying to drag people, trying to bring them down, age, shame, and everything else as if she is just the HBIC, the end-all, be-all, but yet can't get her own man. It's funny, she esteems herself so highly, yet can't do anything. You're no competition to these women who have degrees, money, mansions. Like, girl, stop. Please stop. And here in her simple post, she says, I'm really the most down-to-earth, bougie bee you'll ever meet in your life. LOL. The girls that get it, get it. What I get is the fact that no one wants to be near you. Can you imagine Coleslaw as a friend? Someone as pompous and arrogant as her, thinking everybody wants to talk to her. Every guy that comes around them wants her. Like, she takes me as the type that her friend would be like, oh, yeah, I think he likes me. Oh, girl, he liked me. He been trying to holler at me. You know what I'm saying? Like, she's just so full of herself and so pompous and arrogant, like, she comes off like the type that would think everybody wants her. And then we already know she's self-centered but selfish as well. So I wouldn't want a friend like that. Well, that's it for this one. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe on your way out. See you later.